Other than a, a great battling win and reward for all the hard work that's gone in in the last couple of weeks. At long last, I think the lads thoroughly deserved it. I think the fans appreciate that. They worked ever so hard. I think the goal knocked the confidence again. I think you could see that, but it was, it's one of them where you just they dug in and the lads give us everything and they deserved the win. And as I say, it could have been a, it could have easily went the other way. They could have crumbled the lads, but so pleased for them because it, they worked so hard. The fans kept getting behind them. Now the fans were different class and. I, see, I, I couldn't fault the lads today. There was still a lot of work on me. We're still miles away from where I wanted to be. And that's all down to confidence, and hopefully that will help us. Yeah. Your decision to recall Junior Mondell from Mass paid off as well. I, see, I, I know what Junior is capable of, and it's just getting that confidence. And uh, You look at the team and think, where we're going to get the goals from? And He scored six and six, so I had to bring him back. He he's went out and done what I asked him to do. I wasn't expecting to score as many as what he did, but he's come back, he's been a breath of fresh air, and I thought his work rate on top of his goal today was, was fantastic. He was hurting the opposition by just running behind and causing them a problem with his pace, and we lacked that in the last couple of games, and him being back just brought a little bit of impetus towards that front line. And it was a well-created winner as well, wasn't it, for George? I mean, that's his first goal for the club, and <laughs> only his second ever goal in his career. George is a frustrating one because everyone can see how much pace he's got and we want him to get forward as often as we can and with Jack playing the way he does where he loves cutting inside and chopping people up and then lovely reverse ball into George it's, that should be happening over and over again and it infuriates me that it doesn't <laughs> they just need to get that understand but and George needs to as I say, hopefully that'll give him a big lift to see that he can do that but as it, that goal come from Junior again holding the ball up Opening himself out, lovely touch, switching the plane to Jack, and see I thought overall game from the the lads were created great opportunities, but I still think we're you can see confidence is shy when it comes to that final third. Yeah, second half after George's winner, we had a defending depth, didn't we? And there were some very good displays in there, particularly from uh, Danny Rose and Will Hatfield, who were getting in the way of Fairchester. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm I'm standing there looking at them and. The, the change of shape, Chester, they went to a 4 4 2. Then I'm thinking, do I bring Alex Story on and swap it to a 5? Or is it too early? To, so you, you're tying with things, you're tying with the game. But we were defending ever so well, I thought. Mm. So I'm thinking, do I change that yet or not? So we decided to just change it into a 4 3 3, get Junior Wade for us, and he, again, he'd done smashing. Take Jazz off and bring Pervin to make it a little bit more solid, and I thought that that worked really well. It soaked it up nicely, with, and we're still catching them on the counter when they were pushing forward. And then brought Alex Story on to see the game through, and it it, it worked a treat. To be fair, and it's great when when it works for you, but many times it doesn't work. But today it worked a treat. <laughs> and no doubt you were uh, on the edge of your seat the last few minutes there when they were pushing forward at two one, crossing your fingers and hoping, <laughs> like the rest of us. <laughs> You just had a little bit of deja vu coming here from Chester away. We were cruising 2 0 up, could have been 4 0 up, and then we, we cost it two goals. And every ball that's coming in there, I'm heading them, kicking them in. It, I say, you just want that result for the fans to say, you know, to get, give them a big lift. It's been a long time coming that, and hopefully everyone can enjoy the Saturday nights and have a moan about something else rather than us losing. I just want to say it's going to rescue your sanity, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is, really, honestly. Uh, you, you've seen me more than yeah. many people and it, it hits hard and it, it's difficult to deal with, but that's it. We'll, we'll keep battling. We, we are what we are. We're, we're, we're work in progress and we're going to lose. When you lose your best players, it doesn't it doesn't help things. And we've just got, I've got to go and find another one. Simply that, I've got to unearth another one. That's my job at this football club and, and to keep the team ticking along while that's happening until we get where we want to be so we're not far away I know that and once we get the confidence back in these lads hopefully we'll be off and running and away to Gloucester next week on their 3G yeah uh, no excuse for bobbly pitches <laughs> <laughs> like today so it's, uh, it'll be a difficult game there travelling obviously but we're going on the Friday prepare the lads properly make sure it's done and see, I think we should have been Gloucester when we played them yeah we'll let them off the hook there and I just hope that we can carry this on and not be a little glimmer of just one game and then drop it off again. We need to have that little consistency and there's no reason why I can't have it because they're more than capable.